In this problem, we have a couple of rational expressions that are being multiplied together. And this looks like it could get really complicated really fast. So I would advise you not to jump into trying to multiply the top and multiply the bottom, uh, which you might normally do if you're multiplying fractions together. I think the first thing to do is to factor wherever we can to see if there are terms that can cancel. So if I look at the top of this rational expression, I see a quadratic. And it looks like I can factor that. So let's go ahead and do that. The leading coefficient is 1, so I can just put x and x here. We've got a positive last term and a negative middle term. That means both of these are going to be negative. And the f factors of 3 are just 3 and 1. And that works out. That uh, does those 2, negative 3 and negative 1, it uh, does add up to the negative 4 in the middle. So I think I factored that correctly. Now let's try to factor the bottom. Again, same kind of situation, leading coefficient of 1. So I can just put x and x. And let's see, it's got to add up to positive 1 and multiply to negative 6. So I think that's going to be a negative 2 and a positive 3. All right, so far, no terms that can cancel, but we're not done yet. We can also factor up here. 4x minus 8, I can take a 4 to that, so I'll do that. So 4 times x minus 2 is what I'm left with there. And then on the bottom here, we have an x minus 3. Aha. Now, these are multiplied together. So you can think of this as one big fraction. So anything on the top can cancel with anything on the bottom. And I have an x minus 3 here and an x minus 3 there. So I can cancel those. I have an x minus 2 here and an x minus 2 here. I can cancel those. And now we can just go ahead and rewrite this. On the top, I'm left with 4 times x minus 1. And on the bottom, I just have x plus 3. And that is my answer. It's uh, much simpler uh, than what we started with. And so make sure to try to factor things and see what terms you can cancel out before you do any multiplication.